all right guys this is another video on the topic of ship stability and today we'll be focusing on calculation of areas using simpson's rules now these simpson's rules are very popular rules and they are often used by mariners as well as naval architects um, because they can be used to calculate the area volume as well as a geometric center of a space enclosed by a straight line and a curve so if you look at the shape here uh, you can see that uh, equidistant points are chosen along a straight line which is also called the axis and the distance between them is called the common interval h all right so this is the total length of the space and equal intervals are chosen uh, called h from each of these points the perpendicular distance to the curve is measured off and called the ordinates so in this case the ordinates are a b c d and e each ordinate is multiplied by a different number chosen from a series of numbers called the simpsons multipliers all right and the product is obtained the area contained between the axis the curve and the end coordinates is calculated by the formula in case of the simpsons first rule it's h by 3 multiplied by the sum of the products that you get from here all right so we are today focusing only on simpson's first rule there are actually three simpson's rules and for each of these rules there are different multipliers that are used all right so today for the simpson's first rule uh, in this case of course uh, if there are three ordinates then uh, the multipliers are one for one if there are five ordinates as in this case here the multipliers are 1, 4, 2, 4, 1. If there are 7, then 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 1, and 9, and so on and so forth. All right? So they are used for 3, 5, 7, 9 ordinates, 11 ordinates, so on and so forth. So this rule is usable whenever the number of ordinates chosen is an odd number, and it gives uh, accurate results if the curve is a parabola of the second order. All right? So this rule also gives good results for ship shapes and is used extensively by the shipyards. All right, so let's get into the questions on what kind of questions you might get when you would have to use the Simpson's first rule. So let's take the first question here. So you have to find the area of a boat cover, which is 10 meters long, if breadths at equal intervals from forward are so and so. All right, so I've drawn a diagram here, which helps you to visualize what it means. So this is breadth set equal intervals and this is the boat cover and you have to find the area of the boat cover here. So the total length here is 10 meters. So H which is chosen at equal intervals from the above diagram that you saw will be 10 by 4 divisions. So there are 4 divisions alright. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 divisions in the total length and based on the ordinates of course. So the ordinates started from 0, ended at 0, and then there are 3 vertical ordinates in the middle. So that divides the whole area into 4 parts. So that why, that's why h will be equal to 10, which is the whole length, divided by 4, which is the uh, total number of uh, intervals. So then what you do is write down the ordinates in one column. So 0, 2.25, 3, 2.25, and 0 as given in the question. Then you write down your Simpsons multipliers for rule number one. All right, so SM stands for rule number one, uh, rule Simpsons multipliers for rule number one. Then a product of this will give you the product here. So multiply these two, you get this and there. All right, so zero by one will give you zero, 2.25 by four will give you nine, and you get the idea. All right, then the area is calculated by the formula h by 3 multiplied by sum of products in this case h is 10 by 4 so area will be equal to 10 by 4 which is h multiplied by 1 by 3 because it's h by 3 multiplied by the sum of products here all right where did i get the sum of products from from here correct so you could have added them up here itself it would have given you 24 but i just wanted to show you how to do it in the first instance so of course this results in 10 by 12 multiplied by 24 the total area will be 20 meters square area will always be in 
meter square volume is in meter cube let's take the second question for simpson's rule number one here the deck is 50 meters long in this case it's not breadth that's provided it's half breadths at equal intervals all right so remember in the previous question we had full breadths as you saw here full breadths all right so there's a difference if there is half breadths the area that you find using the simpson's rule is then multiplied by two so twice the area calculated by half breadths gives you the total area so half breadths at equal intervals from aft are given to you and you have to calculate the total deck area so if you can visualize this this portion this is half breadths all right so of course if you want to calculate the total area you will have to multiply it by two to get the full area of the deck all right so the total length is of course 50 meters long due to the number of ordinates there are four intervals so h will be 50 divided by 4 all right so one two three four intervals so 50 divided by 4 gives you h light down the ordinates in the column as given in the question simpson's multipliers for rule number one so there are five ordinates so you will write one four two four one if it was three ordinates you would have written one four one and then multiply each one of them to get the product as you did in the last question all right once you get the product add the products together to get the sum of products so this gives you the sum of products so because only half breadth is given the simpson's area that or simpson's uh, formula for calculating the area will be multiplied by 2 because of half breadths so because half breadths are given whenever half breadths is given you have to multiply it by 2 all right so you have to twice the area because half breadths are given if breadths are given or full breadths are given you don't have to do that so in this case of course twice the h is 50 by 4 this is h then 1 by 3 multiplied by the sum of products that you get from here you get your area as 251.083 meter square again area is in meter square question number three again the area of a collision bulkhead or you have to find this collision bulkhead is 12 meters high again the half breadths are given to you so what does that mean that means the area that you calculate you have to multiply it by two so at equal intervals the half breadths are given so the ordinates are given here so i have drawn the bulkhead here it's about 12 meters high this is not drawn to scale so uh, just uh, try to understand the concept behind it so it's not drawn to scale i have not measured it out it's just to explain the concept to you all right and then of course the coordinates the ordinates start from seven meters and end at zero meter that gives us how many intervals one two three four five and six intervals the height of the bulkhead is 12 meters so therefore h is 12 by 6 equals to 2 meters so then it's simple you write down the ordinates write down the simpsons multiplier this time for seven ordinates because there are seven ordinates you will write down one four two four two four one all right then a product in each case all right you get the product add them up together and you get the sum of products all right so 7 plus 19.2 plus 5.9 plus 8 plus 3.3 plus 5.2 plus 0 will give you 48.6 again because it's half breadths you will multiply it by 2 because it's half breadths whenever it's half breadths you multiply it by 2 so h by 3 h is 12 by 6 which is 2 and then h by 3 is 1 by 3 multiplied by the sum of the products that you get from here put the values in you will get the area as 64.8 meters square all right so here i used three different examples to show you how simpson's rule number one is used to calculate the area of a given space uh, my further videos or next videos will also explain simpson's rule two and three as well as a combination of simpson's rule one and two all right i'll see you soon with the next video thank you very much for subscribing and thank you for watching See you soon.